I'm standing in front of the soon to open Upper Fort Garry Provincial Park. Now you've probably heard of and even visited Lower Fort Garry, the Hudson's Bay Company Fort near Selkirk, Manitoba. Upper Fort Garry, which was located here in downtown Winnipeg, was built in the 1830s. Upper Fort Garry went on to become the most important Hudson's Bay Company Fort in Manitoba. Once the trip between the Forks and St. Paul's, Minnesota became an important trade route, the fort replaced York Factory as the Hudson's Bay Company headquarters of the Northern Department. Upper Fort Garry also witnessed key historic events in Manitoba, including the Red River Resistance, when Louis Riel and a group of Métis leaders took over the fort and established provisional governments. They drafted a list of rights, including the right to language, religion, and lands for Métis people in the area. These actions eventually led to the creation of the province of Manitoba in 1870. Despite its important role in the history of Manitoba, Upper Fort Garry has long been overshadowed by its lower counterpart. This is probably because the fort's remains have long been hidden under buildings like the Grain Exchange Curling Club and a Petrocan gas station. By 1886, the remains of Upper Fort Garry, once a big imposing structure meant to show off the Hudson's Bay Company's dominant role in the Red River settlement, were an abandoned, decaying mess. Many of the fort's buildings and structures had been taken down. Over the following two years, the rest of the site was cleared. Government House, once the home of wealthy senior Hudson's Bay Company employees like George Simpson, was sold for $100 to be used as firewood. Fortunately, the fort's gate, which stands in the construction site behind me, wasn't dismantled. To potential buyers at the time, it wasn't even worth the trouble of salvaging. Since then, the gate has stood as a reminder of the fur trade period in Manitoba. As the city grew around it, people became nostalgic and began to think of the gate as a reminder of the good old days. By the 1980s, the gate was restored and officially part of Upper Fort Garry Park, a small bit of land overshadowed by huge downtown buildings. In 2004, the land Upper Fort Garry once stood on went up for grabs. It was declared surplus property by the city of Winnipeg. In response, a group of volunteers called the Friends of Upper Fort Garry submitted a proposal to develop the area as a heritage site. In 2007, with the help of many donors, the Friends raised $10 million and managed to obtain the lands. Since then, the Friends of Upper Fort Garry have leveled buildings, done major landscaping and archaeological work, started developing many cutting-edge projects, and turned this downtown space into an official provincial park. Though the final product is still a year or two away, by telling stories in many voices, from many perspectives, and in cutting-edge forms, Upper Fort Garry Provincial Park has the opportunity to retell the story of Manitoba in a new engaging way.